What happens to the dream before the... Did it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Or fester like a thorn and run? Did it stink like rotten meat? Or question sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Did it sag like a heavy load? Or does it explode? I love that poem by Langston Hughes, who, in my opinion, was one of the greatest poets of the 20th century. I often use poetry as a metaphor for my life, and that poem says to me about what would have happened if I had been afraid to pursue my dream, if I had been afraid to follow my own path and follow my dream. Hi. My name is Diana Elizabeth Jordan. I'm an actor, a storyteller, speaker, a best about facilitator, and creative about entrepreneur. <laughs> I like to joke that I think I was meant to be an actress because I entered the world in high dramatic fashion. I wasn't breathing on my own for 45 minutes, and the doctors worked on me for 45 minutes before I started breathing on my own. As a result, I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at the age of two, which mildly affects my speaking gait. I grew up knowing two things, that I wanted to be an actor, and that I would not let adversity stand in the way of me pursuing my dream, and I had it. I was able to go on to college and get a bachelor's degree in theater, and I was the first actor with a disability to get a Master of Fine Arts in theater from California State University, Long Beach. I've been cast in film in over 40 plays, and I'm a member of SAG, the Screen Actors Guild, the American Federation of Radio and Television Artists, sag AFTRA and the Actors' Equity Association. My dream has been full of challenges, heartbreak, and heartache. It hasn't been easy, but it has also been incredibly rewarding, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I have dared to dream my possible dream. I made a decision that I would not let adversity be a barrier to me pursuing my dream. I remember one day a few years ago, I was having a tough time and I called my dad and I was just talking to him about how in that moment I felt like such a failure. And my father said something to me that reignited and reminded me about my purpose and while I'm here. My dad is a minister and he said to me, you know, honey, my path was already laid out for me. I went to seminary, I had a church, I did other jobs for the church. My path has always been laid out for me. You have always had to create your own path. And hearing that just reminded me that sometimes you do. Sometimes you have to watch the beat of your own drummer. Sometimes your path is not laid out. You have to create your path. I've had to create my path of living the life of an actor who loses a disability, a speaker and a storyteller, and a expressive art facilitator, and now a creative entrepreneur. When I started my education, edutainment production company, the Rainbow Butterfly Cafe, creating artistic treats to nourish my mind, heart, and soul. Each day I wake up and I face my fears that I may have. I feel the disappointments I have felt and I take a deep breath and I do it anyway. That's part of my story. I feel your fears, face your fears, feel the disappointment, take a deep breath and do it anyway. Doing the dream your possible dream is never easy and it will be full of challenges and I face challenges and I know I will continue to face challenges. 
but they've also had so many wonderful rewards and the rewards and the joy I get from those rewards make all the challenges I faced are worth it. I'd like to finish my story today by leaving you with one more poem. Another one by my favorite poet, Langston Hughes, Mother to Son. Well, son, I'll tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up. And places there's no carpet on the floor bare. But all the time I've been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on them steps because you find it kind of hard. Don't you fall now. For I'm still going, honey. I am still climbing. Life for me ain't been no crystal stair. Hi, I am Diana Elizabeth Jordan. I'm an actor, storyteller, speaker at Best of Art Facilitator on Katie Entrepreneur. Proudly daring to dream my possible dream.